Last week at our online user group, six of our account managers did something that I really, really liked. They each took a data point or a persona or something, and they used their experience to create a playbook about what they would do based on that data point. And the result was so good. And instead of keeping that in a long, uh, hour long format, I decided to break that up into six individual videos to upload here. In this one, you'll hear from Katie Barnes. Katie Barnes was talking about our school break report and how she uses that to guide decisions around when to target marketing based on when more people in target markets are out of school. Thanks, Kurt. So um, I'm gonna use an example of a spring break uh, family. So um, we're targeting uh, families and students who are, who, are, who are off of school. Um, and obviously more likely to travel during those time frames. Um, we're going to talk more about a tool that can be used that provides intelligence on when kids and schools are um, on break. So when can you use this? It would be pretty much ongoing. Uh, we know schools are in session, you know, between about August and June. But I know um, many of our partners are using this data now to plan for uh, the upcoming winter season. So uh, the, the approach is uh, using school break uh, information to target specific markets at specific times. So the um, example we're gonna use is um, identifying some um, need times, you know, looking at occupancy and where you, you may be lacking over previous seasons. Um, so you need to boost some revenue during that time frame. So, um, understanding what who you can market to boost that time frame and using the school break report to do so um, once we've identified who that market is we can pull lists um, from the list builder and marketing cloud uh, based on guest traits and msas to send uh, very targeted messages uh, to that audience to get them to come um, during that that time frame um, bonus points are that this data, this school break data can be used for quite a few um, different strategies that um, I'll cover um, as well. Um, so first we're going to oops, talk about the school break report. So this is a product that we've provided um, to our customers. Well, it's, it's um, available for purchase to our Intopia customers. Uh, it's a report of about 1,500 school districts and about um, 500 or so colleges and universities across the U.S. And it shows you when they go back to school in the fall, if they have any fall breaks, uh, holiday um, breaks, spring breaks, winter breaks, and when they get off for um, school for the summer. So it's pretty powerful. Um, it also uh, provides the data by state. So you can really pinpoint those markets. And I'll show you in a second um, what I mean about that. Here's just a quick screenshot. Uh, this is a old report from the 1819 uh, school year that shows year over year change in school districts uh, and how things shift. So from year to year, these breaks are going to move back and forth depending on, for example, what day Christmas falls on and what day Easter falls on. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, what happens if school breaks change based on the plans for schools resuming in the fall? We know that's a potential um, big, uh, it's just the nature of the world right now, a lot of unknowns. And so we will be keeping our eye on that. And um, we'll, if it's pretty significant, we'll adjust the report accordingly. I mean, we do know schools will be in session, we just don't know if, they will be from home, will they be on the same schedule, different schedules, et cetera. So uh, this may become more and more important um, as we get closer to uh, school starting in the fall. Um, so uh, getting back to our uh, situation here, this is a occupancy report. This is actually um, something that we produce on the Decimetric side of our business, which shows daily occupancy. Uh, the, you can see the highlighted timeframes, which what we'll use in this scenario to target. So the week of March 19th, or sorry, the week of March 9th and the week of March 23rd are showing um, a year over year percentage change of about uh, negative 
Uh, and this we're seeing actually as of the end of December. So we've got several months ahead of us in order to make some um, change and drive some visitation. So knowing those are the weeks we want to target, we can use the school break report. So this is a tabular view of the report by state. So looking at, for example, uh, spring break dates, you can see that uh, March 9th is an awfully popular start date to spring breaks for Texas, specifically Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, lots of really large markets. Um, so here we, this is showing us that schools are on break during that, that need period, uh, the week of March 9th. Um, and then it allows you to basically send a very targeted email to this, um, this persona that would drive visitation during that time frame. So pretty simple, pretty easy, but if you don't have that intelligence um, at your fingertips, then it becomes um, a much harder task. Um, so I just wanna talk quickly about other benefits of the report in addition to what we just talked about. One would be uh, using school break dates to determine your rate seasons, your peak seasons, your value seasons. Um, just a, a shifting breaks just a few days could really alter revenue. You know, for example, if kids are off for an entire week before Christmas, do you start your holiday rates um, then or do you push them back if they're going to be off for the whole week after New Year's? Um, lots of opportunity there to maximize that revenue. Um, also, you can use it to uh, look for new opportunities. So the summer vacation window may continue to be pushed further and further back based on what's going on with the coronavirus and when travel is, um, is going to be loosened up. So maybe you start looking at what schools and what um, what markets are on break in the fall. Many do have maybe a long weekend or a long break, um, maybe a week long break in October. Would you maybe target them to bring them to those people to your resort uh, when they feel com more comfortable traveling or even looking at Thanksgiving, um, which, you know, could there could be a shift going on with maybe more visitation over Thanksgiving. Um, and another opportunity is to is to look at the, the dates of your breaks first and then understand when people in those markets tend to book using a booking window report, which is in um, marketing cloud. So if you know what when they'll be on break and where they're coming from and when they tend to book, you can actually start marketing to that market prior to that, to that point where they make their decisions. So you're kind of ahead of the game and when they're dis deciding where they may be visiting, you can be right there and right in front of them. So generating revenue really at the end of the day. So those are some other um, opportunities to use the data. Um, cool. So I guess, Kurt, back to you. Awesome, thanks, Katie. And I, and I think the big thing there is to think of the spring break report, not just as a report, but an entire toolbox that uh, allows you to market to families in a way that's based on their break dates. And I think that's gonna be more important than ever this year if we are faced with things like having to pre-book lift tickets for specific dates and things like that. So uh, being able to have that data at your hands is gonna be super valuable this year. 